This video shows you how to assemble the blade guard for your SawStop Compact Table Saw. For safe and efficient operation, it's very important to use the fully and correctly assembled blade guard. Your compact table saw came from the factory with the blade guard in the storage tray, as disassembled to three components, along with the miter gauge and the riving knife. There's also a spot for a spare brake cartridge. See the end of this video to order an extra cartridge. Like the saw, the accessory tray is also compact. In addition to showing you how to assemble the blade guard, this video also shows you how to use that compact space. To begin, as always, take precautions before working on the saw. Turn off the power switch. Unplug the saw. For an extra measure of safety, lock out the power switch. Unlock the latch and then lift the tray off the frame. You'll remove the components in order. First, open the retainer. Swing the side guard out of the way. Press open the lower latch for the spreader. Open the two upper latches and then remove the spreader. Open the latch for the riving knife and then slide out. Lift out the micro guard. Now you can access the anti-kickback pulse. Press open the latch and then simultaneously pivot and lift out. Next, you'll attach the anti-kickback pulse to the spreader. Attach the anti-kickback pulse. Hook the loop of the spring in the notch. And then pull the anti-kickback pulse over the back of the spreader and down into the slot. For the micro guard, slide the pivot pin into the slot, pivot down, and then pop the front pin into the slot. Make sure the side guards pivot freely. Make sure the anti-kickback pawls pivot freely. To remove the micro guard, pull forward and up to release from the front slot. Pivot up and then remove from the rear slot. To remove the anti-kickback pawls, pull out of the mounting slot and then slide up and over the top of the spreader, carefully relieving the tension in the spring. For future reference, see the icons on the tray for the stack order of the components. Hold the anti-kickback pawls at an angle, place the tips in the slot, and then pivot down and in past the latch. Keep the pawls essentially straight as you lower them in. Do not allow them to twist. Make sure the retainer is open, and then place the micro guard. Keep the side guards more or less flush with the top guard as you lower in. Swing the side guard out of the way. Slide the riving knife under the tabs, and then push down past the latch. Place the spreader. Push down past the latches. Return the side guard to its position, and then close the retainer over the middle and front side guards. Place the bottom of the storage tray on the frame, pivot up, and then close the latch. Unlock the power switch. Plug in the saw. That's it. You have learned how to use the storage tray and assemble the blade guard for your SawStop Compact Table Saw. If you'd like to order a spare brake cartridge, visit our parts store at www.sawstop.com. If you have questions, contact SawStop Service.